Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So ask yourself where you spend the most part of your day. You're probably gonna say in your kitchen. So these are my favorite tips for making your kitchen feel luxurious on a budget, things that I love to do to make myself love being in this room. So I hope you enjoy. The first tip that I have for you guys is a clean kitchen is a luxurious kitchen. If you just simply wipe down the countertops, clean off your sink, it instantly feels better, I promise you. That is always my first step when I feel like I don't really like a space is I clean it. We have super old cabinets, you guys. I mean, these were from like the early 80s, so they're very ugly, but the previous owners actually painted these, and I know that they used a Rust-Oleum kit to do that, a paint kit. And something that they did that I really think helps the kitchen is they added crown molding to the cabinets. So it gives it that really custom look, but it was inexpensive, and then they painted it all one color so it looked uniform. And something else we did to really help make our kitchen feel more luxurious is we got new hard hardware. There used to be these really weird looking knobs. They were kind of like spirally and super kooky looking. And every single time we would grab the cabinets, our nails were inadvertently scratching it and taking the paint off and it looked horrible. So I went online and I found knobs that were similar to like the existing cabinet hardware. And I got these from knobs.com. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I just found that those were the cheapest price to find them. And these knobs stick out a lot more. And then I just got the paint matched when I went to Lowe's. Even though this is kind of two different colors, they were able to match the paint. So always check, even if you have like two-toned cabinets. And then I just painted over the spots. I attached the new knobs and really, it just made the kitchen look so much better. Our drawer poles are actually the old size, like the 1980s size. They're a little less than three inches and I think the standard size is three or something like that. So I just took my favorite spray paint, oil rubbed bronze, and I spray painted the poles. So for less than $100, I think it was $85 shipped, we have a completely custom look in the kitchen. It feels very luxurious and we didn't have to spend a lot of money. Something else that we did to update the kitchen was to get a new faucet. This can do wonders. This is a Moen brand. Again, I'm not sponsored. We just had a gift card to Home Depot and I love it because this pulls down and we have so much extra space in the sink and we decluttered the actual sink part of it. This is the old sink, original to the house we just kind of sealed off this one spot that used to have like a water dispenser that we never use and then the soap dispenser so everything could be nice and neat and really luxurious feeling I love this new sink so much something else that I did was just make sure that I had organizational systems that were completely up to date that's another way to really make your kitchen feel luxurious something that I did was I added these little bins from the dollar store in these are just those little like dishwasher tablets in here and then I've got sponges down here and this just when you open it up it looks really neat it's pleasing to the eye and it's super easy to locate the things that you need so taking you guys over this way to this cabinet another organization update is I got these new baskets from the dollar spot at Target I think I got them in March they're perfect for holding peanut butter and being able to take it out and Carson snacks these are like his little rice husks that he loves so much so we just keep them in here they're very easy to access and grab and they seriously fit the space exactly perfectly. Some seldom notice things, but I think really make a big difference in making your kitchen feel luxurious is getting a good quality mat right by the sink where you stand all the time. This one is from Costco, but I've seen them at Bed Bath & Beyond. I want to say it was like $20 or something like that, but it's so squishy and nice and soft. It feels like you're on a cloud. So when you're washing dishes for just $20, our kitchen feels really luxe. Another thing that I really like is having a quality hand towel. My favorite hand towels are the Kauflon brand and this one is just an example of one that we have. This has been through so many washes and it does show a little bit of wear but it absorbs water really quickly. They look nice and I just love that brand. Having a quality hand towel I think is really important in the kitchen. Another tip is to have a minimum of two personal touches in the kitchen or things that aren't necessarily practical like paper towel or knives, but just look pretty. And for me, that's these flowers. These are hydrangeas. These are completely fake with like fake resin water in them. And I made a video on how to make these. I will link that in the description, but it gives the kitchen color and personality and it just makes me happy. The things that are practical that are on the countertops, I also try to make them beautiful. And if they're not beautiful, like things 
things that look cluttered when you have them out, I keep them away in an organized way, but it doesn't make sense to have them out on the countertop. I've got this little spoon holder. I love this thing. I got this in La Alberca, Spain when I was there on vacation and I just think it's so pretty. And then here I have my vinegar and my olive oil that I use all the time for salad dressings and I like the bottles. They're pretty and functional and simple. I also keep paper towel out and I also have knives out. So these are things I use on a regular basis but everything else is tucked away in an easy to access location. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to put a link in the description to a playlist of a bunch of kitchen organization videos. If you want to see more of how I organize my cabinets, how I did it on a budget, all of those videos are going to be in the description so you can check them out. Be sure to leave a comment down below on, you know, things you do to make your kitchen feel luxurious and pretty without spending a lot of money and having a crazy renovation happen. So I hope you guys find yourself blessed wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye.